Hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, thanks for all the uh, excellent uh, speeches that you gave to start off this session. Uh, my name is Piers Evans. I'm a climate change coordinator with the town of uh, Portugal Cove, St. Phillips. Uh, I had a question about um, uh, agricultural automation uh, and whether, how, I guess, uh, further or enhancing the automation of the agricultural uh, industry, whether they're small or large scale farms. Uh, how that would affect that industry's overall emissions, and if that would serve to reduce emissions from that uh, industry or from that sector, uh, whether that should be something that should be incentivized by some level of government. Who wants to take that one on? Well, am I working now? Uh, you got to flick the switch on it. To turn it on. There you go. There you go. Um, well, yeah, I, I, you know, it's 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 one of the obvious solutions. Uh, clearly, it is. Um, you know, again, I I spoke briefly to um, having the right technology available to you. It's out there, but it's it's very very expensive. Um, farmers' salaries and so on is um, it's 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 kind of a little prohibitive. But you know, there is uh, we, we have a fed profit agreement. It's a five-year agreement, and uh, some of the pillars in that agreement have, uh, have focused on, you know, what do we need to do, and why do we need government to intervene to help offset the price on, on some of the things that, that farmers would need. Like farm management systems, for example, around food security was a big issue uh, back some years ago. So that became one of the main pillars of spending that assisted farmers to meet all of the, you know, um, HACCP-based requirements that's needed to, to enhance food security and take proactive steps and, you know, all the issues that we had around around that, that, that food uh, food safety systems, uh, as, as one small example. And and we overcame it. Canada is one of the leading countries uh, today because of, of, you know, of that initiative by government. So if climate change becomes a, a key pillar and actions under climate change, then I think you would see at the very front end, that that is the one area that uh, that we would see a lot of movement on. So uh, we we, we got to go there, you know. The, the the large machinery that farmers are using is, uh, you know, fossil based fuels, and uh, they uh, they just have to crank out the food. And as food demand goes up, more of that will be done. So we have obviously have to move away from from that old technology and introduce the new. But it's prohibitive now because of cost. Can I just ask a question? Clarification, Merv. So you're saying that five-year agreement, the federal government didn't insist that climate change was one of the pillars? Uh, it's very broadly speaking, no. They do. Uh, one of the key pillars. There are six main pillars. One of the key pillars um, would be environment. Uh, it's an environmental pillar. But when you get into the weeds, the definition and the um, eligibility items uh, that you can access funding to help offset the expensive, it's, it's not there. It's just simply not there on the implementation part. Sounds good. I'm sure if you had the right government people here today, they'd say, oh, yeah, there's all kinds of systems to help mitigate against the environment. But when you get into the specifics around the question you just asked, it's not there. It's simply not there. And, and it has to be. 